Hello, Eric. So I remember last time we met, we were talking about how sometimes um, just talking about your feelings can be a little bit hard to do. And I remember also that we talked about how you love to do art and your favorite thing to use when you do art is colored pencils. So I thought today we would do a little art project using colored pencils in kind of a way to express feelings. Okay. Okay. So the first thing that I would like us to do is match all of these colors to some feelings. Okay. Okay. So what feeling do you think matches the color red? Like mad. Mad, yeah. I think a lot of people think of mad when they think of the color red. So we'll say that red is mad. Okay. Okay. What feeling do you think matches the color black? Um, like uh, empty or... Empty? Yeah. Good. And... What's another feeling that might come up when you're feeling empty? Like um, depressed or really sad. Depressed or really sad. Yeah, I think so too. So let's say black is very sad. Okay. How about blue? What emotion do you think matches the color blue? Um, blue is like also sad, but it's uh, like not as sad as black. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's good. All right, so blue is going to be sad, but black is going to be even more sad. All right, and how about yellow? What feeling do you think matches the color yellow? Um, happy. Happy, yeah, I think a lot of people think that. I mean, it's the color they made the happy face, right? Yeah. So how about the color gray? What? And what feeling do you think matches the color gray? Um, I don't know. Like, hmm. uh, yeah, it's okay. So, um, how about that little gray rain cloud that you see hovering over people in some cartoons? Yeah. What do you think of when you think of that image? Uh, like they're like lonely. Yeah, they're lonely. So let's say gray equals lonely. Okay. And how about the color green? What emotion do you think matches the color green? Uh, envy. Yeah, right? The green monster of envy. And how about orange? What emotion do you think matches the color orange? Um, like you know, uh, it kind of goes with yellow. It's like yeah. happy, you know, kind of. Mm -hmm. Well, since yellow is already happy, can you think of another, um, maybe a little bit of a, orange seems a little bit darker to me, right? So maybe a little bit more like than energy. just happy. Oh, like excited. Uh, yeah, there we go. Okay, and how about the color brown? What emotion do you think matches the color brown? Um, like boring. Yeah, it is kind of a dull, boring color, huh? Yeah. All right, and last but not least, purple. What emotion do you think matches the color purple? Um, I... That one's a hard one. That one's a hard one, yeah. Uh, is it, like, blue? Like, all so sad? Okay, yeah, I mean, I can see how you would think that. They do, they do look pretty similar. Um, can you ever think of a time when somebody's face might start to turn a little purple? Um, like, 
like if they were hurt or something? If they were hurt, yeah, that might be one reason. Um, how about if I made a face like this? Oh, like you're really mad? Really mad. What's, can you think of another word for really mad? Uh, like, uh, rage? Rage, yeah. Okay, so purple is going to represent rage. All right, so now, um, as you can see, I have a few papers here. But let's start with this one. What I want you to do is just, and these are just in case we need extras, okay? Great. But on one paper, think of this paper as your whole life and keeping in mind all of the feelings that these colors represent, I want you to fill up this paper with some feelings that you've with the feelings that you've had throughout your whole life. Okay, you can do that however you want. Okay, so I see lots of different colors on here. Let's start up here with this orange 
With his orange ball. What's that? It's a basketball. Because you said orange was excited, and so I thought, oh, like basketball, you know, like I get excited to play basketball, so I drew that. Okay. Okay, you get ex you get excited to play basketball, so you drew an orange basketball. All right, that makes sense. And right here, you see lots of dark colors here. I see red, I see purple, and I see gray. And that's just me, like, I'm mad at myself. I gotta do something stupid, like beating myself up. I'm not really mad. And I'm like all alone. So you drew your body with red because you feel mad at yourself. And so you chose to make yourself red. And then inside your head here is purple because of the, the rage that you feel at yourself when you feel like you've done something stupid. And then this gray just kind of shrouded around you is because you feel all alone when that happens. Okay. And what's this? I drew uh, an Xbox Halo green because my friend got an Xbox with Halo. And um, yeah, I was jealous of him because we can't have video games. Oh, you're not allowed to have video games. Okay. And. Over here in this corner, I see some more pretty dark colors. Yeah, that's just my house. That's your house, okay. And it looks like the frame of the house, the door, the windows, and the roof are all black. Yeah. Yeah? Can you tell me why you chose to make that black? Because what did black represent? Oh, it was really sad. Really sad, yeah. So why is why is the house black? Oh, it's just, you know, at home I feel really alone. And, like, my parents are always working. And I don't have much to do. And I get really sad. And I get really mad at myself. Okay. And it looks like the outside of the house is is brown yeah because like i said like you know my parents are always gone so there's not much to do yeah and you get bored i can see that and then over the house what is what is this no it's just blue because it was like just more sad more sad so being being at home alone is, is a very sad thing for you. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, thank you so much for um, sharing this with me and for doing this activity. I, I think that it um, seems to have brought to light a lot for us to talk about.